Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Top TopConf Tallinn 2016. I'm Alex and today I'm going to talk to you about Mio, which is this armband here, and his JavaScript library. Uh, before I start, uh, just a few information about me. So again, I'm Alex Canessa, an Italian full-stack developer based in London, working for Digital Detox, which is a web agency, basically oriented to front-end, but we do full-stack. I specify Italian for a couple of reasons. The first one is partially I'm proud of it. Uh, the second one is that if I say something wrong during the talk, I blame my English accent, my Italian accent in English. So if anything, it's because I'm Italian. Before we start, just a bit of history about hand gesture uh, recognition technology. So one of the first devices ever invented in this uh, technology was the Themarin in 1919. So it was, and it is right now, a music instrument based on two antennas, which emit electrostatic waves. The uh, vertical one controls the pitch, and the horizontal one controls the volume. If you have time, check in on YouTube. It's actually cool, because 1919, the first hand gesture recognition. Then, jump to 1989, when Nintendo released the Power Glove. It was pretty basic. Um, he has just a crew tracker few sensors on the fingers and a controller on the forearm. Then in 1990, the Cyber Glove. Now we have a series of what we call data gloves. The Cyber Glove was a bit more interesting because it had 18 sensors across the hand. Uh, so it was able to detect which posture your hand was making. 2002, P5 gloves. Um, it worked pretty much as a multi-dimensional mouse. So it was very well implemented into games, computer games, such as 3D, but due to a lack of compatibility with the other software, or just in general computer, uh, it didn't go further than the novelty level. Kinect. I think you guys have heard of it. Uh, we switched to camera recognition now. So <clears throat> you don't need anything attached to your body to make your camera recognize what you're doing. So it works with um, infrared grid to detect what the, the um, player doing and multi-dimensional camera uh, which means when you do a movement the camera recognize that and elaborate whatever it needs to do. Samsung comes out with a smart TV so we have one camera only this time which recognize just the movements of your hand in order to, to control the volume, switch between channels and stuff like that. So now we go deeper with the one, and then we have in the 2014 the first shipment of Leap. I think you have heard about Leap as well, maybe as well. Um, it's like a little box you put just in front of your computer. It recognizes your gesture through LEDs and again um, IRs. So whenever you put your hand on top of it with these cameras, it recognizes what your hand is doing. So it can actually see your fingers and do whatever you want to do. So control your computer, slide, go up and down. And then, 2015, we have Mio, which is this. Just a little thing. I don't work for this company. I'm just a developer. I'm not selling you a product here. I'm a developer. I saw this online. I saw there was uh, Arduino interaction, JavaScript interaction with it, I could play with it. I just got like, excited, I order it. And now I'm still excited, so I'm, talk, I'm talking about it. So as again, as from developer to developers, I'm sharing what I understood about it. So how does it work? It basically detects all the electrical activity from your hand muscles, which are here, in order to understand which gesture your hand is making. It also senses for rotation and movements uh, of the forearm and hand itself. It's hard to speak about Mio if I don't show you a video because this video will actually tell you what does it do. So let me set, just check if I have the volume yet.
So, you can imagine how did I feel the first time that I wore the armband. Right? So, what can I do with it? Let's have a look. How does it work? It works with electromyography. That's why the name Mio. Electromyography is an electrodiagnostic technique for evaluating and recording the electrical activity produced by, produced, sorry, by the skeletal muscles. So, whenever your hand is doing some tension with your muscles, which are here, it has sensors, EMG sensors inside, so it detects the activity of your muscles. What you can do, uh, so there are several gestures already there. There is the double tap, fist, spread fingers, wave in, wave out, and then, uh, as I said, it works, it sends all the rotations and movements of your hand and forearm. Can you do custom gestures? Yes, you can. Uh, they introduced the snap already as their own library. Uh, I'm going to show you how these uh, later on, like the actual code of it. It's not the hardest thing ever to create it, but basically you need to map the MG, EMG activity of your muscles to some structure. So you say that this will trigger several muscles, detect that and save it and everything in math, in math of course. Mio provides us a diagnostic page. Now, I can't rely on the internet, but I have it here. Should have it here. Is it synced? It's not. Wait a second, syncing the armband. Let me try to refresh. This live, right? Yeah, go cool, sorry. We're moving back. Here we are. Refresh again. The beautiful thing about live stuff in it. And voila. Cool. So you can see <laughs> um, top here is synced. That's my armband. You can see on top there is locked or unlocked. The way you unlock an application in general everywhere is double tap. So if I double tap, it goes unlock. And then I can perform gestures and sync up with my application. Uh, you have a battery life over there. It says I'm a right arm. It syncs with your gestures, with your muscles while you're doing it. So it learns from your muscles and recognizes your muscles better. So if I, if I give it to someone else, it takes time to warm up. And, but it will work, of course, as a standard muscle that everyone has. This part here is the EMG graph, so the sensors which are in these little pots. So if I tense my muscles, you can see the activity. As I said, different, different gesture will trigger different muscles. So this is, will be a wave out, this will be a wave in, this will be everything tensed. If I go down the page, you can see the orientation. So you can see how sensitive it is, and the accelerometer orientation and gyroscope, they're all part of the data you can collect from JavaScript. So if, like someone did, I want to create an application for mouse or drawing, this will be my mouse. The gesture feed, I don't know if you can see it here, so again, I will unlock first and then perform all the gestures. So I will unlock it with double tap. Unlock it with double tap. Unlock that. Pardon? It's not. It's not a good day, isn't it? I don't know why Mio Connect keeps. So Mio Connect is basically the application that is on your computer to make it the connection. Somehow, okay, cool, sorry. So unlock, double tap, spread fingers, web out, web in, and fist at the end. 
Yeah. So that's that's how you recognize it. And this here is the JSON data that Mio is providing to us. Let's see how we can use that now. Let's delete this. So the first thing I actually thought when I saw Mio was the implication in the medicine environment. Um, you can see this guy who lost its arm. So they plug a couple of Mio armbands in here, which means that with his hand muscles, he was still able to move his hand and his forearm because when he was still triggering the muscles, he was of course triggering the hand gesture. So he was able to do it. I think it's pretty amazing. If we look to the platforms we can develop on, we have web application, which is what we're going to cover today. So JavaScript, Arduino, virtual reality, computer application, and smartphone application. For Arduino, check this guy out. So he created a door lock, so he can lock and unlock his home door based on uh, Mio connected to Arduino. So it will double tap to unlock the application, then perform a fist, rotate, and it's going to show it on the other side, so you can actually have a better image or a better picture of what it's doing. So you can see Arduino is there. It locks the door. Unlock the application double tap. Perform fist. Rotate. Buck. Nice, isn't it? So, even nicer, this guy in, uh, created an application for virtual reality. So augmented reality, sorry. Um, so with two armbands, you can fly, shoot, Basically, be Iron Man. So you can see the interaction on virtual reality would be actually amazing as well. Let's start. Let's actually go into some code. That's how the library works, and that's how it looks like. So when you open, well, you create your JavaScript file, of course, and then that's how you import. I'm importing Mio from ES6 class. You can use the require uh, pattern and require it. You can download the CDN and just include it in your HTML. Then you do Mio.connect name of the application, which has to have a, a pattern, but could be every, so it would be com dot whatever dot whatever. In my case, com dot Alex can instead of my app. Mio that on connected function. Mio works with events. Everything in Mio is an event. Every time you perform a gesture, every time you move your arm, every time you perform a specific gesture, Mio sends through the WebSocket an event in JSON to your application, which you can connect, col sorry, collect, and do a, um, sorry, have a callback with that. I pressed something wrong. Where am I? Whew. Okay, cool. So when I do mio.onConnected, go for the function, this dot vibrate. Now this would be the instance of the Mio armband. So it would be the actual armband. Rather than Mio, capital M would be the class. Which means that every time you connect a new Mio, because you can have several Mio to the same application, your body, or you can go for a game with someone else, this will be the armband. So if you want to use more, you need to store it in an array. So when it's connected, this that vibrate will be what make my um, Mio vibrate. Couple of methods and events available on Mio is Mio.on for events, so on and off to trigger events and, well sorry, listen for events or remove the listen for events. Lock and lock, vibrate, stream MG, there could be the others like uh, request battery level, if you want to know what's the battery level of your uh, Mio. And these are some of the events. So on post, which is an event which returns the post name. So one of those spread fingers, fist, um, within, without, which are available as individual events as well. So you can do that on spread fingers. Then orientation, I'm seeing connect the lock to battery level. Um, they're on GitHub, so you can go and check out the documentation, which is pretty good as well. That's good. It's a bit of light coding. Uh, 
I said, I don't want to cover my face. I don't think, I know, it, I know it's not the best, but I like that. All right. So we're going to create um, test.js. I'm going to, I already downloaded the NPM, of course, uh, because it will take ages otherwise, we're doing live. But so everything I need is here. But you just go for npm install Mia. It's easy. So I'm following the required pattern. I'm gonna run everything in Node for now. So Mio connect com dot alex dot conf. Now I will do Mio on connected function, no R function here, I need these. I will, I will probably do like Fitnesh does, it has a slight warning, we're gonna use ES6 in here. So these that on, so when you connect it, I'm gonna put an event listener on Mio, on pose. As I said, pose returns a pose name, which I'm just gonna do console log. Cool. You can see it. So if I double tap, I unlock my application, and then every gesture I'm doing is going to. That's that should be his bare fingers. Yeah. Wait. So double tap. Yeah. So every pose I'm doing is going to take the post name and console log it. Let's go a bit more serious. So instead of post, I'm just doing on fist. They could, yeah. Doesn't return anything. So when you perform a fist, I want to create another event called orientation. So another listener. Now, actually, orientation gives us a data, which is an object, which has Z in our Y and X, which is the actual orientation of your arm. So what we want to do is date console log the rotation of your arm, which is on the X. Then we want to put another event listener on the fist off. So when fist off, I want to meal that, sorry, this, that off, orientation. Is it clear? So let's see if it works. I lock the application, perform fist. Now, while I'm keeping it, because I'm post off, I remove the orientation listener, is getting my rotation of the arm. You can see it's pretty sensitive and it's pretty accurate. Fist off, stop. Then I lock again. Again, face. Yes. Need some mass that, that I, at the end of it, I'll have a big right arm and it's like. Uh, okay. Let me just make it sync again. Uh, but you did get a point. Now let's go at me more crazy while I'm coding. Cool. So I want, yeah, we'll relax. Code without an end. Cool. So what I want now is create a function that just gets my events. So I can put this all here and here. So bind this. So I just delegate everything to a function. Now, what I want is display the data in a nicer way. So data will accept the data, which will be x, z, or y, and a string. Return. OK, let's put that. So right, right. 
um, will be we need a mud floor. I want to remove that minus. So I will do this plus one multiplied by 60. Yeah. Then I create a new array made of that number and I join with the string I pass. Yeah. So I pass a string, oh, sorry, a data, which will be x, y, or z. I create a number based on that data plus one because again it goes from minus zero nine to sixty and floret, and then I return just a, a string made out of that number. So if I do it now here, data with data x, x. Yeah, so, oh, what do you say, sorry? Ooh, thank you. Is this something else as well, right? Thank you. That's the good thing about live coding, right? So now, I need to go back to the gym. It worked like yesterday night. It's just the fuck. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Yeah, but I need to. I need to tell him that is my left arm. Otherwise, the gesture would be opposite. It is pretty sensitive usually. I, I swear. Oh, here we are. Oh, you didn't do anything anyway, so um, what am I doing? Bind this, bind Mio on this, Mio, no, orientation, data, display data, I return it, but I don't console log it. I'm not paying for supply. Here we are. Cool. So now you can see <laughs> that I'm returning the orientation and when I fist off, it will stop. Thank God it worked at the end. It's fine, you got it. Let's, let's check something different, right? Maybe the, the fist doesn't work so well right now. Um, let's output something more. So I want to console log also uh, the white and the Z. Also, you know what? I will just double tap. So I will just activate it since the fist doesn't really work today. So I double tap first to unlock, double tap again. Here we are. So now this is all the data coming from the orientation. So you see that, let me do a bit more, so you can see more. So that's the Z, the Y. Uh, now, now the fist works, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. And yeah, this is it. This is the data. So you can see maybe a good application for these would be to manage some music. So like a DJ, so something like that. Um, now I actually want to show you what I just did. So I, I told you we can we can implement new um, new gestures, right? So that's what I've done recently. So I'm going to show you everything how I did it. Top right, you can see the battery level. So I requested battery level, and then I introduce 
the snap. So when I do this, you can't touch this. You can't touch this. Yeah? Works. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> So what have I done? I snap. It worked up this first time, right? You can't touch this. What do you have? Yeah, it's the orientation. You can't touch this. The music you can't as well. Touch this. Touch this. Yeah, you go up and down. You go my, my, my music hits me so hard, makes me say, Oh my lord, thank you. Fuck yeah, that's in me. What am I to run and do like this? It's just good. What you know you're today. So let's say what I've done. I just created an uh, application script. Here we are. So Mio JS. It's just a class which wraps my Mio um, environment. So what I have, I import Mio from that. Mio Snap is the library which includes the custom gesture. So this is how a custom gesture looks like. Um, this is actually coming from their library. I just E65 it to my um, application. Uh, well, not all of them, but just class it, basically. So you see, it's not straightforward to create a new uh, thing, but it's connecting to the max and the min value that your orientation and your EMG data, so your electromyography from your arm should work. So in the constructor, I just initialized the snap gesture I connect with the application name, so I already showed you, um, will be, in this case, this, com.alexcanisa.music, and then I initialize the canvas for the line, but what I want to show you is this bit. So, I bind an event on a trigger event, which is snap. Snap handler, it does simply, simply, these are armband on orientation, draw line. This, so whenever you oriented your arm differently, is controlling the volume of the audio instance on my class. We get volume, just right now it's just data plus one, but it could be whatever. And it draws the line with the Y and the X. Which is so the size of the line will be my orientation, the y instead will control the, um, the line. And that's it, that is the canvas. So just to show Chris what we just did. You can touch this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I actually played this one though, right? Thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, I had to do it. And this is it basically, nothing else. You can see how easy is the environment. So now if I want to explain to you what it's doing, this is another application. So imagine what we did right now. <laughs> This guy controls the light of a club with two armbands. Again, this is just based on the orientation. So imagine that, imagine you can control the music, imagine you can control the lights, you, you can do whatever you want, right? And that's how it works with WebSockets. So for who's not familiar with, a WebSocket is an advanced technology that makes it possible to open an interactive communication session between the user browser and a server. With this API, you can send messages to a server and receive event-driven responses without having, any, without having to pull the server for reply. What does it mean? It means that it creates a connection through WebSockets to your application. The application is on your computer. So it creates this link between my armband and the computer. The socket has these two, has a method of send and a property of message. So you can, 
whenever Mio is retrieving a gesture, so you, whenever you perform a gesture, whenever you orient your arm bend uh, in, in a way, he will send through the WebSocket a JSON-driven data and Mio.js, so the library, the library will listen for that event through that event listener we just saw. So whenever you pose WebSocket, a JSON that say pose equal that, basically, and Mio.js is listening for that. On the other way around, you can send stuff to Mio, like vibrate. Or, so if you want Mio.vibrate to make your armband vibrate, then Mio.js provides us methods to send through in a JSON-driven data to the WebSocket, and Mio is listening for that as well. That's actually how it is in the library. So you open your uh, node modules, you will find this. Uh, so you see is handling the on message with this handler and then pose. So whenever you retrieve a pose, it triggers two event, which we're able to listen to. On pose, which we did already, which again returns a data pose. And trigger and just the pose name. So you're able to do on double tap on spread fingers directly and have an handler of that. That's how it triggers um, a, an event instead. So it's using the socket property he has already, that send, which is a socket web socket function. This command in JSON, so the command will be vibrate, the mio is the connector, the ID of the mio, and the intensity which you can pass, which is low, medium, or high. The support of web so sockets is pretty much good, like apart from i9 and below, of course. But there is a polyfill, there is a WS uh, node module, which you can use. I use it anyway, because I like it more than the actual thing. And the market. So the, there is a market online. It's Mio market. And it's very good also because it is one of the few markets with not a lot of application in there right now, which means if you have an idea, that would be a nice place to suggest it to become rich, maybe. So, what you can find here is like Spotify connector to control your Spotify, VLC connector, browser connector, mouse connector, a lot of connectors. You have, um, you can control the sphere, which is what they had there. So, in fact, I want to try to connect it. Um, and application for iPhones, application for Mac, application for Windows, a lot of stuff in there, but still not as the other stores. Let's now, how much time do I have here? Five minutes, all right. I created another application. Um, so, let me check. Ah. Woohoo. I'm on TV. All right. Yeah, I, I'm, I can't take everyone, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. But now, if the fist work, we could have a picture. So you see, you look at that. You look at that. So I will double tap. And, ah, the fist. Double tap. Let me change it to a double tap as well. Because I want to have a big how much? How much? Four minutes. Can do it, can do it. Ah, oh, scripts. Okay, let's check now. Yes, all right. Um, that wasn't the picture I wanted. <laughs> oh, it's not the are you are you kidding? All right. <laughs> this is. If in doubt, refresh. Okay, you ready? So this is gonna go on Twitter and every possible social network. So try to. Be smart.
Yeah? So ready? Cool. Here we are. I don't look smart at all. I look shit. All right. Cool. And so this is it. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, just thank you. Yeah. Uh, I swear that usually it's very accurate, like today, I don't know why, maybe my arm, maybe I slept on my arm or something, I don't know, but my muscles are weird. Yep, yeah, so basically, uh, you put your meal here, and you can see your EMG uh, pulsar here. So it gives you the best accuracy you can have, and then if you want to have less, you can remove that. Or, anyway, you can sync meal with your arm itself, so it will just like customize it. So it will like run you through several commands, like perform this, perform that, perform that as well. And so we'll see your muscles, what they're doing. So it's more personal rather than the human being of muscles. But the accuracy is based on your actual muscles. And again, it's going to give you the, the, the best accuracy. Again, I don't know why today, today is just beaching with me, but in general, it's very accurate, as you can see from the orientation as well. So if you want less, yes. If you want more, no. Does that answer your question? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, sure. Um, so the price is $200. So right now, it's five euros, I think. <laughs> Not joking. I was Trump and stuff. All right. Um, so, is yeah, in pounds, it would be around 150. I don't know about euros. Um, the battery level, so the battery life, if you don't do anything, it lasts like a week. On continue, uh, continuous usage instead is a day, like 24 hours. And Bluetooth wrench will be pretty good. It depends on Bluetooth. So, everything works on with a key, you have a, your computer, which is a Bluetooth key, so that connects to Mio. So whenever your Bluetooth is strong, that will be strong enough. Yeah, it's a smart, smart argument, if you want. It's a, yeah, it, it is, it is, it is exactly like that. But, um, yeah. Any, any questions? Yeah? Uh, to be clear, this, um, those Basically, how does it work? There is an application on your computer which you need to install uh, and will generate a WebSocket for you. So through that application, you need to do that. So who has the Mio needs to have that application on the computer he's using for that. But the iPhone, but like after often, the iPhone, though, you don't need the application because inside the application, I need to speed it up. The inside the application of the iPhone, it will be that WebSocket client. So you don't need any specific thing to, to um, make it work. It's just working with WebSockets. If your device provides that WebSocket, then it's fine. In fact, that's why Arduino, it wouldn't need any applications because Arduino, there is a thing that you can download and install on your Arduino, uh, which will basically be your WebSocket. Does that make sense? Good. Any other questions? No other questions. Cool, so uh, thank you very much. Um, the slide, you can't see anything. That's done, okay. So the slides are, <laughs> are on, yeah, on slide, uh, speaker deck. Uh, I'm gonna update with a new one. This is no, you, you, there is already there, and the code will be on GitHub as well for this application. I will share it on the application and on Twitter, and it's gonna be fine. I lost the cable. And it's like <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so this is it, and thank you very much.